How's it going, folks? The constant flow of amazing transfer news just cannot leave us bored for a single moment, as we want you not to miss any important deal. Borussia Dortmund have agreed on Holland's replacement, Chelsea have almost bought Man City's top performer, and Ronaldo is preparing a public statement regarding his future. Let's get the show on the pitch! RB Leipzig midfielder Konrad Lehmer has informed the club that he will be moving to Bayern Munich. This happens either this summer or in the summer of 2023. The Austrian will leave as a free agent. Cristiano Ronaldo missed Manchester United's third training session in a row. The club still doesn't know for sure whether he will participate in the preseason tour to Australia and Thailand or not. 37-year-old goalkeeper Lukas Fabianski has renewed his contract with West Ham for one more year. Jesse Lingard is soon to visit the USA, where he wants to listen to offers from interested MLS clubs. 22-year-old centre-back Victor Chust switched Real Madrid to Cadiz for 1 million euros. Defensive midfielder Tyler Adams has joined Leeds United from RB Leipzig for 17 million euros. The agreement is valid for five years. Monza have loaned Italy national team midfielder Matteo Pessina from Atalanta. The debutante of Serie A must buy the footballer out if the White and Reds will keep their registration in the elite. PSG right back Colin Dagba got sent to a one year loan to Strasbourg. 18 year old central midfielder Romeo Lavia has switched Manchester City for Southampton in a 12 million pounds deal. Yesterday, Juventus sporting director Federico Cherubini held a meeting with Fali Ramadani, the agent of Napoli centre back Khalidou Koulibaly. Italian manager Roberto De Zerbi has terminated his contract with Shakhtar Donetsk. This week, PSG intend to hold talks over the move of 20-year-old Rams striker Ugo Ekitike. In the coming days, the management of AC Milan plans to meet with Olivier Giroud's representatives regarding the extension of his contract for another year. Brighton right-back Terry Lamptey has accepted an offer to play for a Ghana national team following Iñaki Williams. Shakhtar Donetsk winger Manar Salomon is on the verge of joining Fulham. Spanish national team midfielder Bryce Mendes moved from Celta Vigo to Real Sociedad for 15 million euros. Atalanta bought Salernitana central midfielder Ederson for 21 million euros. His deal lasts for five years. Newcastle are set to bid Everton 35 million pounds for their promising wide midfielder Anthony Gordon. Italy U21 centre-back Matteo Lovato got transferred from Atalanta to Salernitana for 7 million euros. RC Lenz have announced signing Club Brugge centre-forward Luis Openda for 10 million euros, making him the most expensive transfer in the history of the club. 37-year-old goalkeeper Steve Mandanda left Olympique Marseille as a free agent. He made 613 appearances for the Phocians. Besides, he has already penned a two-year agreement with Rennes. 40-year-old right-winger Joaquin Sanchez has extended his contract with Batis for a year. My idol is Yaya Torre. He's a great player from the Ivory Coast. I had the pleasure of playing with him in the national team. I would like to have such a great career as his," shared Barcelona Nibi Frank Isia during the presentation. Inter midfielder Arturo Vidal will become a player of Flamengo in the coming days. The contract is set for two years. Premier League newcomers Nottingham Forest have bought central midfielder Moussani Akate from Mainz for 10 million euros. I had dinner with Jorge Mendes. We talked about the market in general. Cristiano? I'm not gonna talk about players we discussed at the meeting, but it's always good to know how some names are in the market. Barca president Joan Laporta noted. 19-year-old Roma prodigy Felix Afenagian has prolonged his new long-term contract with the Wolves. Bayern have come very close to getting 17-year-old Rennes winger Matthijs Thiel for 10 million euros. Tottenham are gonna buy Middlesbrough right-back Jet Spence for 15 million. Last season, he represented Nottingham Forest. Angel Di Maria will arrive in Turin this week. He 
Ricky agreed on all personal terms of a one-year deal with Juventus. Only a medical checkup is left. In case Barcelona will not agree with Chelsea for Marcos Alonso, they will consider recruiting Nicolas Telefico from Ajax for 5 million. Liverpool right-back prospect Neko Williams is close to ending up at Nottingham Forest for 18 million pounds. Sevilla have bid Galatasaray 12 million euros for central defender Marcao. Leeds United have offered Club Brugge 35 million euros for winger Charles de Quetelar. AC Milan offered 15 million less. Barcelona have two proposals for the transfer of centre back Oscar Mingueza, provided by Monza and Girona. Now, it's time to dive into the main news of the day. Borussia Dortmund announced the recruiting of Ajax centre forward Sebastian Eller for 31 million euros plus 4 million in add ins. If all the bonuses are activated, the Ivorian will become the most expensive footballer in the history of the Hornets. He will share this place with Usman Dembele, for whom rents were also paid 35 million. The 28 year old ace signed a four year contract with the Black and Yellows. Aller is expected to replace Erling Haaland, who left for Manchester City this summer. Earlier on, Sebastian had a successful spell in Germany while playing for Eintracht Frankfurt. Experienced central midfielder Axel Witzel has officially joined Atletico on a free agent basis. His agreement with the Indians runs only for a season, with an option to extend for another. This is the first big name for Diego Simeone's roster this summer. The Belgian performed for Borussia Dortmund in the last four years. Seems like the transfer saga named after Frankie de Jong can be considered complete. Barcelona president Joan Laporta stated that the club has no intention of selling the Dutchman to Manchester United. He's a Barcelona player and we don't want to sell him. We know he has offers. We don't want to sell right now. Unless we are interested in selling him in the future, stated Laporta during Frankie Sio's presentation. Raheem Sterling's move to Chelsea is a settled issue. Man City winger agreed to all terms of the contract with the pensioners. His transfer fee will be £45 million. It's expected that the deal will be officially confirmed in the next 24 hours. Interestingly enough, Sterling is about to become one of the highest paid footballers in Thomas Tuchel's squad, receiving £300,000 per week. Chelsea are pushing the concluding the process as the coaching staff sees Raheem immediately go into a pre-season tour in the USA along with his new teammates. Robert Lewandowski still remains Barcelona's top transfer priority this summer. Robert himself and his agent Pini Zahavi dream of his move to come true, but not Bayern. Zahavi plans to bring the negotiations to a new level in the coming days. The agent is thinking of arranging a meeting between the representatives of Barcelona and Bayern, where they can settle every detail of the potential deal. The Catalans still hope they will be able to find common ground within a 50 million euros proposal. Cristiano Ronaldo's role at Manchester United project is still unclear. According to The Athletic, the Portuguese is gonna make a public statement next week regarding his desire to quit Old Trafford. By taking such a step, he aims to push the Red Devils' bosses to more decisive actions. At the same time, the bookmakers' odds on Ronaldo's departure to Roma fell rapidly. If earlier the coefficient was at 13, now it's fixed at 4.3. Italian media sources linked this to Ronaldo's agent Giorgio Mendes's warm relationship with Jose Mourinho. Besides, Cristiano himself already had an experience being guided by Mourinho in Real. Among the main options for Ronaldo were Bayern Munich. Though the CEO of Bayern, Oliver Kahn, denies the information of the German team's interest in the forward. As much as I appreciate Cristiano Ronaldo as one of the greatest, a transfer would not fit into our philosophy, Kahn noted in an interview with Kicker. Nevertheless, Chelsea still hasn't given up on the idea of signing CR7. Guys. Did you know that Cristiano violated the sacred rule of Sir Alex Ferguson? So he has to quit Manchester United because of that. What is this rule about? Follow the Football Club channel 
and find out. Have a good time watching. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.